Hi, everybody. Doug Jenkins with the Finley Hancock County Chamber of Commerce with you on our YouTube channel again. One of the ways we've used YouTube here ever really since the pandemic started is to get more information about resources that are available to businesses in the community that can help them operate either more cheaply or more efficiently, which can lead to cost savings uh, and, and things of that nature. And one area we want to explore today is warehousing and how you might be able to use that and how that can help your bottom line, or at least help you operate in a quicker, more efficient manager uh, way. So with that, uh, Chase Hatfield from Finley Warehousing is joining us today. Chase, thanks for joining us. Thank you, Doug. Uh, glad to be here on this Zoom interview. So, uh, <laughs> Some people get nervous, so I, I think you'll yeah. be all right, though. <laughs> we <laughs> you'll be okay. Well, let's talk about uh, let's talk about warehousing in general. Okay. When we think warehousing, we think about big businesses, big companies doing manufacturing. They need massive amounts of storage space, and uh, they need warehousing to do that. Uh, but there are really some creative ways that people are using warehousing that maybe it would be good to think about if you're a smaller manufacturer or not even in manufacturing. There are ways to use warehousing. Chase, what are some of the creative ways you've seen people do this? So, so yeah, there. It's not just. Um, the big manufacturers that need extra warehouse space. I've seen, uh, there's a lot of small businesses that, that utilize it. Um, one example uh, with retail companies that, that maybe over purchase uh, supplies that they might need uh, where, where they normally couldn't purchase one or two truckloads because they find a deal on either, either supplies or a deal on uh, something that they're gonna resell. Uh, they have the capability to call on a third party warehouse like ourselves to store those two or three truckloads of product um, and then we can ship them over as they need it. So that, that's one way uh, some of these smaller retail companies can, can utilize it. We've also seen a lot of small businesses that are reselling uh, pallets that they're purchasing or product on pallets that they're, they're purchasing. and. Uh, we're helping them out along with other 3PL warehouses to kind of carve out some, some space, whether it's you know just 500 to 1,000 square foot space to kind of operate their business. So if they, if they need additional space uh, to, to operate, a lot of these places are operating out of their garage right now. And if they need that additional space and take that next step forward, uh, they can call on a third-party warehouse to kind of carve out space and, and help them out. So. Well, I really like that idea. I like the idea that if a retailer or just some business, they find a great deal on a product that they need and they want to order a bunch of it, and the only thing standing in the way is the ability to store it, this seems like a pretty uh, cut-and-dry solution for them. Yeah, not just, not just store it either. I mean, when you're purchasing truckloads of product, if you don't have the building for it, I mean, that's going to come in. You need a, a dock location. You need forklifts to unload it properly. Um, so that's something that, that we can provide for those, for those smaller businesses that are, that are kind of purchasing those, those bulk purchases. And that makes, that makes sense, too, because we were talking before we started recording. You know, there's, there's a supply chain element to the warehousing process. So you're not just getting that space. You're getting everything that comes along with it so that if you need it shipped, you can do that through warehousing, uh, a lot of warehousing. You can uh, you know, have it moved around to where you need to be, get it from one truck to another. How are some of the, what are some of the ways that warehousing can help in that supply chain uh, well, as that map comes together? Well, and most of it, it's sometimes difficult for especially smaller businesses to call upon some of these trucking companies the trucking companies might, might not want to even do business with them because they're used to dealing with bigger manufacturers and higher volumes. But that's something that, um, that at least here in Finley, we can, we can help out with that side of the, uh, the equation by, because uh, most of the third party warehouses, we're going to have a fleet of trucks and a fleet of trailers. And we're able to, as the product comes in, we can ship it directly to wherever you need it, need it to go. So it's not just the warehouse space um, that, that's being provided there. It's also the, the shipping and the receiving and the handling and, and just about every uh, portion of the entire supply chain that can be helped out. It's just whatever that that 
that client wants, I guess. We've talked uh, a lot about there's, there is um, a, a lot of warehouse space in the Findlay and Hancock Air County area. Uh, how big of an advantage is that to area businesses around here where we have so much space to be able to just, you know, from just from a storage standpoint, that's huge. But uh, for, for all the different small businesses, medium sized businesses around here, I have to imagine that's pretty advantageous and can help them grow a little bit faster. Yeah, it, it lets it lets you grow. It, it gives you options. And one option that it gives you is is if you're outgrowing your business and you're doing well right now because the economy is booming, you don't necessarily want to put capital down and invest in building and adding on to your facility. This gives you some leeway. This gives you possibly a couple years if you need it to see if that uh, growth is going to maintain. So smaller companies that are outgrowing their own building, if you will, um, you know, they can look at a third party warehouse and say, well, we're not ready to purchase. We're not ready to build. We're going to use this. And if we continue to maintain this type of, uh, this type of growth, then we'll think about building or, or uh, buying or, you know, uh, making, making that type of move. So it allows you to grow without investing the capital. Oh, that is a big, big benefit. Let's just talk about warehousing as an industry as a whole. Over the last 10 years, I imagine a, a ton of change has taken place just with the way that technology has advanced forward. How much has technology impacted your job and, and the industry over the last decade or so? Well, I, I've, worked, I've worked with the warehouse for uh, almost 17 years now. and I mean, when I started, there wasn't even email. So there was no, and now that's probably 99% of all communication is done by email. So just that alone has made things change, but it's more, it's definitely more than that, especially over the last five or six years, you're seeing a lot, uh, a lot more scanning, barcoding, and um, where, where probably 10 or 12 years ago, you, you'd see it in some of the bigger distribution centers. Uh, but the cost of putting that into a small third-party warehouse like ours was was pretty expensive. Mm -hmm. And now just about everyone's going to it. So you have to, uh, and it's pretty much driven by, by your Amazons of the world. They're definitely ahead of the curve in what they're doing. And it it's really, um, it, it increases everyone else's expectation. You know, people are ordering products right now and they want it the same day they ordered it brought to them by a drone. You know, we don't have quite that capabilities, but new drones yet. Yeah, we don't have drones yet, but who knows? But I, I can tell you that it, it's changed so much. The speed of business has changed so much. What everyone wants, they want it now. And, and the technology is there to, uh, to uh, meet that expectation. Um, and, and that's currently the things that, that we're doing here to combat that and, and making sure we're meeting expectation. Like I said, it was, it was emails and or it was fax machines and phone calls uh, 15 years ago, switching over to email. Now everything's uh, electronically uh, ordered and electronically picked and scanned. And, and so there's a lot of changes, but those changes are necessary to be able to uh, keep up with the speed of business. So I can only see it going, going in this direction even more. So. Absolutely. One, one last question for you, just in terms of as a career warehousing, like we said, there's plenty of it in Finlay. There's a lot of space. Uh, you've been doing it for 17 years. So obviously it's, it's working out pretty well for you, but um, you know, when we, we talk to kids in the area about uh, different opportunities in this community it seems like there are several just in this one industry sector alone yeah there's uh i, I talk with a lot of people um in this industry and it's and it's definitely um a point where we're trying to keep kids in the community to help uh fulfill some of these jobs that we have i know that we we have a lot of them and for the most part, what I've seen, we, we've recently hired some, some younger individuals and they love the job. You know, they're, they're getting to drive a, a forklift at 18, 19 years old. Uh, and, and not just that, it's not a monotonous job. Every day is a little different. You're not just loading 
the same thing over and over again. And there's some critical thinking involved with the technology that you mentioned. So, so it's a really interesting job. It's, it's not what it, it used to be. And uh, with that, it's, I think it's a great job to have um, if you're coming in uh, out, of, out of high school or even out of college, trying to figure out what career choice to make. Because um, the point is, we're, we're very small. We're moving. Uh, if you look at all the things that are moving in the world right now, it, everything's constantly moving. And we're just a small little piece of that. But we're contributing to society every day with, with moving these truckloads. And, and you get a good feeling at the end of the day, too. So. No, I think there's, I can really see the putting together the puzzle of just how to more efficiently move things around and everything like that. There's, there's a, a nimbleness to it that I think a lot of people would appreciate uh, working in that type of environment. Yeah. So, well, Chase, we appreciate your time today. Great information about how businesses can better utilize warehousing to maybe uh, get their operational needs in order. And uh, also like knowing just about how industries are growing in our community and how people can get involved. So thank you very much. All right. Thanks, Doug. All right. And we'll, again, keep putting videos on our YouTube channel, taking a look at different industries, how they can help small and medium-sized businesses in the community. So be sure to subscribe to the Facebook page, or excuse me, to the YouTube page. So you can see, you can subscribe to Facebook too. We've got videos up there, plenty of stuff going on at the Chamber of Commerce. So make sure you're liking us wherever we are on the internet and getting all the up-to-date information. I'm Doug Jenkins with the Finlay-Hancock County Chamber of Commerce.